and welcome to the Any Day Coffee Spill. My name is Kaz and if you haven't worked out this by now, this video is all about what I see in random everyday things like shapes in the leaves and patterns in wood and in the coffee spills. So in this spill, what I saw first was Pac-Man. But I decided to go with this instead. And I was wondering, how different would war be if we only had latex balloons to attack with instead of ships and jets and bombers and drones and things that we have now? So I looked this up and apparently they did actually use hot air balloons for war. Obviously, you can see them coming. They don't go very fast. So they started to use them at night to avoid detection, but they couldn't see where they were going and sometimes they ended up in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Which I think makes it more fun, but apparently it's stupid. But war is cruel and stupid, and I think humans make it way too easy to do it, which is even stupider. And I think what they need to do is have latex balloons because they would definitely level the playing field and it would be a toss-up um, to see whoever made it actually got there to the battlefield and not end up in the ocean. I think we should make bosses fight it out with egg and spoon races or a, I don't know, game of checkers. Just a thought, any warmongers out there, maybe you could put it in the suggestion box. If latex balloons were used in war, Every time you bumped into each other, you'd just end up floating in the opposite direction and it would take a really long time to get anywhere because you'd have to float. And that's great because by the time you got there, you just all want a nice cup of tea. Oh, um, fun fact time, kiddies. I found out today, um, this is actually thanks to Wikipedia, the first early balloons were actually dried pig bladders which I found equal parts amusing and gross at the same time. What happens if it's a dark stormy day, you've got to picture this, at a carnival and there's heaps of kids and they've all got their balloons and um, the balloons float away and there are all these kids going, mummy, mummy, I lost my pig bladder and then because it's raining the balloons get really wet and soggy and then they just randomly start falling from the sky on people's heads. Um, that's probably how Nostradamus started getting his visions about the apocalypse. There must have been a lot of very strange toy makers back in the day. But I guess everyone's got to have a hobby. So now that you know what I see, I'd like to know what you see. I'd love to see your drawing. I put the original coffee spill on Little Moon Seeds Instagram page. Thank you so much for being here and watching this. It means so much to me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.